Yo guys, welcome back to another Asphalt 8 video where I will be testing the top 10 multiplayer cards I use the most nowadays, so I really hope you all enjoy them, uh, let me know if this video was useful on comments, which other cards do you use, but now let's check them. <laughs> So it's time to begin with the D-Class cars I decided to pick and the first one is no more and no less than the Infinity Project Black S Special Edition. This car has a nice acceleration despite of having a 1320 rank which is around 40 points below the top class D Kings but still this car packs a nice competition because on the right hand uh, you can not only uh, avoid being knocked down at the beginning of each race but also manage to catch up to the best class D cars mostly because of its speed which is not uh, as slow as other class D kings like for example the uh, Ariel Atom goes around 368 km per hour the Donkeyboard DA GTO goes around 365 km per hour which is not a huge difference compared with the 360 km per per hour the infinity special edition has a top speed so on the right hand this car is not only a funi a funi car to drive but also a, a car that can, can easily win the top class d kings of course this car is a bit more expensive to upgrade than uh, its closest competitor which is the uh, bmw e8 uh, coupe which is at a rank of 30, 20 points also, uh, but still you can decide at the end, you are the one who decide which car is your favorite. So now moving to the next class, we have the Ariel Atom A8, which is one of the easiest cars to grade right now, uh, as its pro kits are available on the multiplayer store, so you can get them with multiplayer badges, in order to fully upgrade this car, which is basically the best car of the entire Class D. This car has a top speed at, at of 368, which is fairly good. Uh, basically, the best top speed in Class D. One thing I don't like about this car is that it feels so light that if, I but still, the, that's not a huge problem if you know how to avoid being knocked down by heavier cars. Because remember, if you are using a heavier car, you will you will have less problem of big knockdown but you will have a higher chance of knock down other cars since heavier cars well are harder to knock down and also can easily knock down lighter cars as for example this aerial atom e8 the neutral duration is fairly good the handling is super b is like an insane handling and the drift radius is also from another planet but well now time to move to the next class which is the c class and now we have the uh, resmani beast alpha this car was nerfed uh, a few updates ago from class A to, D to C class and well I have to say that on its new rank is also a fairly good competitor mostly because at a rank of 1410 which is the current uh, Respani Beast Alpha Max Pro rank this car has a really good acceleration the nitro duration is also pretty okay compared with other cars uh, around this rank like the KTM Xbo GT X which is I feel like the best car you can own at this rank well but don't worry because the Respani Beast Alpha can uh, easily win the better cars mostly because it's good handling, good top speed, decent rate radius I mean uh, this car drift radius used to be an insane one uh, back at A class but well anyway nowadays it's not at A class anymore so we have to be happy that this car at least is useful nowadays because I really have fun uh, driving this car at the new rank uh, fighting against uh, undertune cars and that stuff so well this is another of the cars I would recommend you to go for if you have nothing else at C-Class and now of course moving to the top of the C-Class we have the Pininfarina H2 Speed and if you are an old subscriber of this channel, you may know that this car already appeared on a lot of my previous video. But it's so easy because I really love this car. Feels so stable, uh, a way better in my opinion than its closest competitor, which is the Volkswagen 
EDR, which is one point higher than the Pininfarina H2 rank, which is 1553. And well, uh, there is no much else to say about this card. The drift radius is good, the handling feels so stable, and the nitro duration is fairly good, as you can see right now on this race. But this card has a problem, and well, it's not about the car itself, but mostly about its rivals. And you are about to understand me on the right on the next car I'm about to show you guys. And moving to B-Class, we have the uh, Porsche 911 GT, GT3 RS. This car has a rank of 1590, uh, 90, 50, 90, and this car often gets paired with the Pininfarina H2 speed, which is the problem, that this car has a top speed of 434 km per hour, while the Pininfarina H2 speed has a top speed of 423 kilometers per hour. That is uh, 10 kilometers per hour slower, 10, 11 kilometers per hour slower, which is a huge difference at these ranks. Also, the Porsche 911 GT3 has a bit better acceleration. The nitro duration is not as good as the Pininfarina one, but still that's a huge problem, mostly because, well, uh, this car is a way better, clearly because it has a better stats as it is at a higher rank than the Pininfarina uh, H2 speed. So that's a problem if you are a Pininfarina driver and you find one of these cars uh, while racing on multiplayer, mostly because if you face a, a skilled driver uh, driving a Porsche 911, you will have basically no chance because this car is also so good. I have to say I have so much fun also with this car. And well, now moving to the top of the B-Class, you have one of the cars I'm the I'm a lover of, and it is the BMW M4 GTS. This car is a festival car, requires uh, 220 Pro Kits and uh, like 3 million Fusion Coins to be fully upgraded, but this car has the best acceleration of the entire Class B. This car reaches its top speed in 2.5 seconds, which is uh, 0.2 seconds faster than the second best accelerating car on class B, which is a lot. It's a huge difference that you will notice while using this car on multiplayer if you have the chance to fully upgrade this car as I did. Uh, being the creator of the year, I picked this car and well, I got it fully upgraded. And I have to say that I do not regret going for it a single second of my life. I really love this car so much and it's an absolute king regarding multiplayer. And of course, now moving to A-Class, well, there is no a really big difference among the two cars I'm about to show you guys on A-Class, but the first one is the Chevrolet Corvette CR1. I don't know if I say the name correctly, but please understand me, I'm not a native speaker <laughs> of English, so uh, I may commit a few pronunciation fails. Well, the Chevrolet Corvette CR1 is, uh, well, uh, the best car you can own at the rank 70-72. This car is so good, uh, the acceleration is the best, as you may expect it. Yes, I went for the best accelerating car on the, on this rank. The top speed is so good, the nitro duration is also, well, you can appreciate there, the nitro duration is also pretty decent, I would say even quite good. Uh, well, this car on the right hand can even uh, destroy four GTs if handled with, the, with a skilled driver. So you need to keep that in mind because, well, if in the future the Ford GT gets nerfed, which I don't know if will happen or not, this car will be for sure one of the best cars of Class A. Now, of course, moving to the top of the Class A, we have the Ford GT, which is one of the cars I love the most of this game, mostly because if it's extremely balanced performance. This car has a nice acceleration, a good nitro duration, a really good uh, drift radius and uh, well handle handles pretty well feels so smooth while driving this car and well it's not a car that requires a high level to of skills to masterize mostly because if you face a uh, lower rank cars uh, you will clearly win them uh, using the 4GT I mean the previous car I mentioned is at a lower car at a lower rank 
uh, like 30 points lower, but still on the right hands can beat a 4GT driver if the driver is not skilled enough. But as you can see, the 4GT is also a really, really good car. Uh, well, the nightmare of the 7070 ranks. And now moving to S class, the last class, the best class uh, of the entire game. I decided to pick the McLaren 600 LT mostly because I have to say that I do really like cars with good handling. And the 600 LT is one of the cars that feel the best of this entire game, mostly because of its insane handling. This car handling feels so comfortable. It's just so comfortable. Uh, so so smooth that I, I often commit fails, as you can see right there. I took that corner and messed up this whole part of the track. <laughs> but anyway, I really like this car mostly because of that. Uh, uh, it's so easy to handle. You won't have any, re any real problems while using it. And well, the nitro duration is also quite good, as you can appreciate there. And not as good as the car I'm about to show you right uh, after this one. But still, it's a really good uh, nitro duration for a top class S car. The top speed is also fairly decent. The acceleration is not the best, not the worst. It's a really, well, in the middle acceleration, quite balanced overall. And well, this car is also really useful for gauntlet. So in case you are considering going for it, I will recommend going for it, mostly because it's perfect performance. And now the last cars of this list, in my opinion, could have been the Centenario, but as many of you guys, this Lamborghini Centenario is already the best car of the entire game. So I decided to do something different and instead I decided to put the Lamborghini Sian, which is a quite, like, quite like the Centenario, but with a bit heavier. This car is a bit heavier, but not too much. You want, if you get used to it, the Lamborghini Sian will feel basically like the, a second Centenario. Also, the, dry, the drift radius is so good, as you can see right there. The net duration is so good. And the Lamborghini Sian uh, in design is one of the uh, cars I like the most of this entire game. So, hope you all enjoy, guys. Drop your like, climb your subscriber reward, and see you really soon with much more Asphalt 8. There's no doubt, gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me, now you're everywhere I see. Send me free, let me fly, let me fly new kinds of highs We're just wasting here, waiting for another year We both know the score, we've been here once before So many words unspoken, you took my heart, it's already broken You don't have to wait, I can take the pain I will surrender, let me go on a new adventure <laughs>